Hello friends, you are watching Eddie's English Literature. I am Arjun Dutte. Today, we are going to understand what should every student learn from sentences Polonius. In fact, Polonius famous advice to his son, that is, is given in Act 1, Scene 3 of Hamlet. I think you have all read Hamlet, if not fully in a part. I am just quoting Polonius this speech because it will help you. In this scene, we are able to get a glimpse and a very important glimpse of course of the Polonius household, the character of Polonius, the head of the family and his son Loretus and his daughter Ophelia. Even though there is a sketch of outline, but notably here we will learn the advice of a father to his son as if it's the case of every household. We all need some moral policing in our way of leading ourselves and hardly there are any texts which cannot tell it so. But here in this particular speech we can have a lesson given by father to his son. So let's concentrate on our present piece of study. When the scene begins, we find that it is packing up for his journey to Paris. He is a young man of worldly wisdom beyond his years. He takes leaves of his sister Ophelia while advising her to careful in receive the coat of the Hamlet. These are the way the scene begins. Now, at that juncture, Polonius comes in and in said, Yet here, let us abroad, abroad for same. The wind sits in the shoulder of your sail. Had you, you had stayed for, there my blessing with thee. Polonius enters on this stage, as I am telling you, and asks his son to hurry up and board immediately board immediately the ship bound for Paris for the wind sits in the shoulder of yourself. He blesses his son and then, then pronounces the following precept to keep in his memory. Next these precepts are a summing up of all Polonia's seriousness, his experiences and the knowledge of the world. Even though you, you find it moral policing or a kind of that, but I find this particular piece very interesting because it cares about his son. So Polonia's advice some way a advice to every father given to his son. And here it says these few precepts in thy memory. See thou character. Be thou familiar, but by no means vulgar. Those friends thou hast and their adoption tried. Grapple them to thy soul with hoops of steel. But do not dull thy palm with entertainment. Of each new hatched, unpledged comrade. Simply here, what he says, he asks that is not to give expression to his thoughts, but to be a good listener. I say to all my students and any of the parents should advise son or daughter that he should be a good listener. He shall act after due deliberation and never out of any impulse. Impulsive act never yield any result. So just throw away your impulse. Friends should be chosen with care and awesome. 
and others to be kept at a safe distance. He should seek to be familiar but never shall be vulgar. One's friends are properly selected, you know, choice of the friends and its better judgment whom to may befriend you and whom not is very essential now. If you have selected your friends, he shall, he said, grapple them to his soul with hoops of steel. Similarly, he should never entertain people unworthy of competency. You know, to be practical, a great person is he who makes good friends and who avoids bad company. Now again, Polonius advises his son that beware of entrance to a quarrel but being in that, that the opposed may beware of thee. Give every man thy ear but few thy voice. Take each man's censure but reserve thy judgment. Costly thy habit as they pursue can buy. But not expressed in fancy, rich, not gaudy. For the apparel of proclaim the man, you know, and they in France, and they in France of the best rank and station are of a most select and generous cheap in that neither a borrower nor a lender be for loan of losses both itself and friend and borrowing does the age of husband so polonia's advice to his son is quite pragmatic it says walls have to be avoided However, if forced into them, the opponent must be made to run them. He should give every man his ear, he should have a patient's hearing, but few thy voice, few his voices. He must take every man's opinion while reserve his own judgment. People are often judged by what they hear. So, the style of Lord is be a rich, not Gandhi. This should be particularly in uh, relevance to France where men of rank and station are especially selective in their matters, in such of their dresses and apparels. Lord is must neither be a borrower nor a lender for loan losses both itself and friend, you know, bad loans can create bad characters. Borrowing should be avoided too because it will make you further penny. After all these very worldly advice, Polonia suddenly strikes a very contrasting note in his conclusion. When he advises his son to be true to his own self and above all, he says, these above all to thine own self be true and it must follow as the night the day thou canst not then be false to any man such advice of polonia shows the worldly wisdom of the minister of the king it also exhibits in a funny way pompous talkative old man bred in courts, exercised in business, stored with observations, proud of his eloquence and, de and declining into dotage, as Dr. Johnson says it. In his son, he appears a commonly prudent man with a streak of cynicism in him. But in the conclusive part to his uh, eloquent advice, when he asks his son to be true to himself, he appears to attain a sort of nobleness, a greatness, otherwise unsuspected uh, in his generally funny and talkative way of uh, commonplace character. Perhaps 
you will also find in Polonia as a kind of a father who is taking a perfect way of the situation and he uh, exhibits a kind of a judgment to his son so that his son can proceed further in this worldly affairs of life. This way I can quote a few of the lines from Coldridge. It says that he observes that this particular scene must be regarded as one of the Shakespeare lyric movement in the play and the skill with which it is interwoven uh, with that dramatic part is peculiarly an excellence of our poet. So Coldridge is here in favor of stating that poetic excellence is here but most notably this particular line focuses on Polonia's character as well as a fatherly advice to his son. A kind of a father figure also emerges out of these advices. Even though Polonia's the man who is all burdened being a king's hand and always sentences judgment on observing the primary life or primary way of thinking but his advice to his son even though it is moralistic is full of care and love so i think you have understood this short piece of giving a character sketch of polonia's as well as this particular speech which it delivers a bond between father and the son if there is any query regarding this topic just ask me i will try my best to give some answers so like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel bye bye